Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to one of the wildest and hardest new custom zombies maps that have released. This is a map created for the relaxing end. It's got everything that he knows and loves incorporated into this, including a load of melee weapons, which he is famous for using to unbox everything in his videos. And in this, you're going to see so much craziness. It starts out fairly, you know, calm and quiet, but literally could be a map from Cold War. We've got Cold War hard, Cold War aesthetics. It is beautiful. But don't be deceived by the looks because this map is wildly difficult. I'm not joking when I say that this has probably one of the hardest sort of beginnings of a map that I've played in a long, long time. So there you go. You hear a tactical nuke and as we know from no man's land that means the zombies are going to start sprinting the round two onwards you've already got sprinters we don't even spawn with a weapon we need to get ourselves a gun the main thing that we're going to be trying to get for is obviously that mystery box but also to get the power on but the map is is beautiful absolutely beautiful created by zeroy r dive and mad gaz i'm going to try and make this like as uncut as possible because i know that you guys love to see these custom zombies map videos where there are no cuts oh my god hello well, i'll try and limit them as little as i can but obviously where they feel appropriate i will do but the relaxing end was very kind to share this map with me a little bit early so by the time you're watching this map will be out so go ahead and check it out on steam but opening up the main hall entrance we have this house here we have the staircase of this portrait of the man the myth the legend what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open down here and i'm gonna hit that box because i need to get myself a weapon but there is just loads of lo as you can see the guns are mainly cold one what the heck rambo combat knife i would like to think this is going to be oh it's not even a one hit all right well we're swapping that for the org absolutely but this really does feel like cold war and as we make our way down here we can turn on a tv with this remote i'm just concentrating because i really don't want to die here oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my lord oh so there's yetis that spawn on this map like, I, I wasn't kidding when I said this map was hard. We're on round five. Just the start of round five. And we already have one of these. And oh my god, we've got a dog round as well. That thing is an absolute bullet sponge. This is not a normal dog round because these dogs, they are relentless. Like, they take a lot more health than your traditional dog. See, I would not expect them to be this strong. Oh god, let's take these out. Okay, one more. And I've not even began to explain what's going on here. There's a TV that's showing all of his old videos of transit. Now, Transit's turning 10 years old next month. So this is a little bit of a showcase uh, to kind of reminisce on the good old days of just how long it's been when it comes to YouTube and zombies. It's kind of nuts. But let's open this door down here into the basement and uh, let's go get this power on. So I don't know the power. Hell yeah. Let's see. We've got some other stuff on the walls. So we've got chaos looking stuff. So there's a carbine there. But now we've opened the power. We can get outside to here. We've got this massive, massive area, the rear gardens. Now, I need to go ahead and get myself a, uh, a, a different weapon from the box. But as you can see, beautiful detailed map from Zeroy, Ardive, and Mad Gaz. Like, definitely, whenever they drop a map, you know it's going to be some hot, hot good stuff. And for context, Ardive and Zeroy are the guys that made the Nightmare map, which was the, like, almost like campaign experience, which was absolutely ridiculously good. Right. I love that we got the mini map in the top left. It's honestly a lifesaver. I cannot lie. Right. Let's go ahead and make a crawler. Let's explore more of the map. We're back down into here. So we've got speed cola. Lovely. We've got a lot of stuff down here. So we've got a buildable bench. So we can build the jet gun, which I've been told is a way better version of the jet gun than uh, the transit's version. Like it doesn't explode. Like it has proper ammo and it will last. So very happy about that. Well, not only can we play as Misty, but you can also play as Relaxing End himself, which is kind of crazy. It's a shame we didn't get that, but here we go. The Model 680. It seems kind of cool. All right, this is a good gun. I tried this out with the SKS before. This gun absolutely slaps. So we're keeping that, but let's go ahead and explore a little bit further up in this. It's quite a small map, but as you can see, tons and tons of really cool details. So let's clear this debris. I assume this might be Relaxing End's like setup room maybe because this is crazy detail we've got perk machines so many perk machines we've got uh, a pc set up here oh tablet okay press any time to switch to tablet so system locked i don't know if we can actually do anything with this or not but we can bring up the tablet it kind of shows where we are it's relaxing's tablet but i don't know if we can do anything with it we can just take it maybe we can and i'm i don't know i know there are some small mini easter eggs but we run outside here we've got this lovely balcony and we have the Wanderfizz. So 
I can't afford to buy any perks apart from what I've got. So I need to save up. Let's open up this. Oh, okay. Right. Let's kill him then. Right, let's open up through here. And look what we got here. This absolutely beautiful room that really reminds me of like Spaceland. We've got all these pinball machines. This is so cool. There's Ted. Hello, Mr. Ted. Hopefully we can get him working. Uh, there's also this, which is a, a trap that plays music. A little bit like Spaceland, which is awesome. We'll try that out a little bit later. As far as Easter eggs that I've been able to find, I know that there's something involving like finding skulls around the map because there's a debris here that'll take us to Pack-A-Punch. And uh, I found a skull in there on an earlier playthrough. I just wanted to get to know the map a little bit before I played it for you guys. But there are some very exciting stuff. There's also a perk called Relaxing Tea, which uh, we are going to want to drink it because there is something pretty awesome tied to that. Yeah, I need to save up, get some points because this gun absolutely slaps. Like it's a one shot headshot. Really, really damn good. All right, 1500 debris. So we got this. We got a little, little swimming pool over here. Oh, look at that. What's the chances of getting all those perks all at once? All these drops, right? We'll take you and you and you. And the interesting part here is this bar where we can get the relaxing end drink for 10,000 points. So we're going to need to save up for that. We've got double tap there. This is Pack-A-Punch. There's a little ritual where we've got to get kills. I mean, we've got the death machine. Let's do it. Let's, let's go ahead and do it. Oh, wicked. So the zombies don't even have to be that close for us to get the souls. But right, as soon as we get this done, we are going to get ourselves jugged because we haven't the points now. And also maybe open up past that uh, room in the amusements room because that's where the, the real good, exciting stuff is. Oh my God, exactly what we need. There we go, I was about to say, not enough, but here we go. Makes our way into pack a bunch. And look what we've got on the wall here, a nail gun. We're absolutely picking this thing up. And then we also have a part here for the jet gun, which is sick. But if I remember, there we go. The skull was here. Maybe I, I mean, I think it's a pack-a-punch gun that I need to shoot it with. Let's go ahead and get ourselves jug. I feel a lot more safe now that I have uh, Juggernog. Do I want to camp in here? I don't know. It's 1500 for this. But there's some really exciting stuff back there. I also need to get the shield. And uh, I did build the shield on a playthrough. But the parts seem to move around. So we're going to have to be looking out for that. But look at all the details, man. PS4... Game Boy, PS3, PS2, Juggernog. There's even a PS5 that's on around here. Like, how awesome is that? I have said that this is this map's ruthless for them adding that. And even with a death machine, let's see. Is it even that good against them? I mean, look at this, guys. Look at this. Okay. It ran out, but these guys take they take a lot of bullets. And look at this. Please just die. I'm going to need to buy a double tap, like, ASAP. Look, they throw snowballs, dude. My God, I, I, I'm not kidding when I say these guys are bullet sponges. What drop we get here? A broken perk bottle. So maybe we now can have five perks, maybe? Oh God, thank God for the insta-kill. This would have been hella messy. Can I grab my, can I grab my weapon? Here we go. So here it is, pack a punch. It's the skr skr. <laughs> skr skr. I love that. All right, but let's definitely try and leave a zombie or two. Because we've got the points now. I open up that room up upstairs. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, this, this room looks absolutely fantastic. Well, I'll show you. Right, you ready? Boom. And look at this. Wow. We have literally every melee weapon you could ever want in a zombies map. All available. Assassin's Blade, Banana Knife, Steak Knife, Paper Knife, Rambo, American Combat, Combat, Kitchen Knife, Ninja Sai, Sai, Karambit, Marble Fade, and the Fade. We've got Juggernog, and then the ultimate, the Katana, but too soon, come back at round 100. Round 100. Now, there is actually a little bit of a secret to this. We don't actually need to get to round 100 by actually going 90, well, 88 rounds from now. We can actually get to round 100 a lot quicker, and that's by getting a uh, perk. Relaxing end perk for 10,000. Two hours later. The main goal, lads, is now I'm just getting points. Like, do I go ahead, get another perk before we go for the relaxing seat? I don't know. Let's see what else. Stamina up. I feel like that's probably a good one to get. Uh, or banana colada. Double jump and crouch to free zombies. It could be a good one to get. It's a lot of money though. And I don't know if I'll remember to do it. The double jump and crowd. All right, here we go, lads. Max ammo. Let's go and buy the relaxing tea. 10,000 points. Not reversible. All right, we're drinking it. Oh my God. What the heck? It just puts us 
straight to round 99. Okay, what does it say about the katana? I'm back at round 100. Okay. Oh my god, that's a lot of freaking zombies. Oh my lord, that's a lot of freaking zombies. Okay, at least we got the Wonder Waffer. So we can at least... Jesus, just how fast the zombies are. How quickly they spawn. Thank god we have this Wonder Waffer. Because otherwise, we would not be able to even do this. If we can beat this round, it's beyond me. Like, I might have to just farm points so I can keep buying ammo. Because this is kind of crazy. Because we need to keep buying Wonder Waff ammo. Without this Wonder Waffer, we would be absolutely in the mud. Absolutely mudded. But it's like, what is what is the wave here? Do I just train them all up and then use this? I think that's my only method, really. I just hope they've been kind and they've lowered the amount of spawns. I love how it's called relaxing tea when like it's the polar opposite. It's not relaxing at all. It's going to give you a heart attack. But honestly, like I don't know if I can include this whole round because it is going to take forever. But we also do have traps that we can use. I was going to remember that's how high round work. You don't necessarily have a gun that kills. It's more the traps. Got to bear that in mind as well. Unironically, this spawn room's actually been a pretty good spot so far to train. Like for real. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, whoa. Oh my God, what the heck? We can turn on cartoon mode. That has really like thrown me off. Did not even know that was a thing. I might have to go ahead and turn that off, but that is neat as hell. That's such a cool little thing to add. That means I've not looked at a lot of the other parts of the map. Clearly, I've not paid that much attention, but that is so cool. Anyone denies that this is not BO4 at this point, even though this is Black Ops 3 that you're watching. But out of curiosity, if I was to try and kill a zombie, how many bullets would it take? Is it even worth it at this point? Like, look at this. That is insane. I've nearly gained a thousand points just from all the spamming. This is a very relaxing way of trying to take out all the zombies on this round. Yo, by the end of this, I should have a buttload of points. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out! No, dude. That was my own stupid mistakes that cost us that. That is dumb. Like, we, we literally have this in the bag so hard. Okay, I just need to train them up. I need to go and run and get quick revive. Don't worry. This is fine. Nothing to worry about. I need to go and run and get all the other perks, but this is this is fine. There we go. Woo! Don't kill any zombies. Let's train them all up, and then we'll run through the map and buy all the perks back that we need. That's sensible planning. If I do say so myself. Plus, we've got all these points as well. All right, so here we go. Conga line. Here we go. Unless they start respawning back, in which I'll be like, uh, this is this is awful. Okay, it looks like some of them, yeah, some of them are spawning around. I was like, can I just use that machine to buy them all back? No. Looks like I've got to buy these all myself, which I don't have any issue with. We just got to be quick. Okay, let me out, let me out, let me out. Let me out, let me out. Let me out, let me out. Thank God we have this thing. Woo! My God. Okay, I just need to be very, very careful. Let's see. Can I kill a single zombie? No, but I can definitely farm points if I want to. Oh, this is a dangerous game we're playing right now. Dangerous, dangerous game. If we do this, we get the katana, which I hope is like the most overpowered weapon ever put in a zombies map maybe the jet gun could have been viable it could have but i just don't know where the heck we get it from but i noticed one of the other quest parts is that saucepan so either zombies might drop it or well i've just realized now that we are here there is no going back like we will be at round 100 if we beat this round and that is that is it right like i have to play the rest of the map at such a high round oh my god what the heck we've just got a yeti Oh, oh, hello. Uh, we're going to have to use a trap for this. There is no way. Use this, them snowballs. They hurt. All right, activate the trap. All right, come on. If they can run in. Oh, my God. The trap doesn't even do anything to them. All I can do is keep spamming it with this. This thing was great. Oh, no, we're out of ammo in it. I mean, we can buy more for 5K. Then Lex's own terminology for this description. This is foul. 5K for ammo. And I probably still can't kill these guys. This is ridiculous. How? No! 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 I was just looking around and I just got... No! Please, can we not die now? Please! Hey, you're not kidding, Misty. You said that was a, nearly her last rodeo. Right. I'm just running and getting jug. 
Like, I don't even care. We'll go for the quick revive in a moment. Ooh, okay, let's run back, run back. Okay, we just killed that one as well. What's it drop? A broken perk bottle. Are you kidding me? All right, is this the last? Have we made it through round 99? No, this is an absolute joke. We get like one or two more yetis at spawn before this thing's over. So how many spawn around? We just don't know. This trap barely got... Oh my God, I'm an absolute idiot. I was like... This trap barely got used, and I'm like, yo, let me just run through real quick so that the zombies uh, get attracted. Nope. Not the right move at all. I'm so freaking nervous, dude. I'm so nervous. Right, well, that's it. I, I legit have no more quick revives. If I go down, that is all she wrote. A few minutes later. Right, I've decided the only real way we can do this really is by using traps, because, like, otherwise, this is going to take forever. Like, Legit, it's gonna take forever. Two hours later. No freaking way. No freaking way, boys. No freaking way. We might actually be able to do it. Right. These might be the last four zombies of the round. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Have we actually done this? Okay, we'll see. Oh, oh my god. Holy moly, we've done it. Come back at round 100. It's round 100. It's round 100. Come on. Please. 25k. Yo, the relaxing end is the biggest troll on the planet. Are you kidding me? 25k. All right. We're going to need to just go ham with this thing. I reckon we can do it. But this katana better be worth it. It better be worth every bit of blood, sweat, and tears that we've poured into this. I'm going to have to just train up and just spray this thing and then buy ammo and spray and train and spray and train until we get 25 without me running out of ammo all right boys 45k i reckon we are more than more than stocked points wise for this so i'm gonna wait for the zombies to kind of pile in a little bit all right here we go let's just buy it here we go the path of sorrows here it is now can we pack a punch it was it worth all of this i don't know all right, we can, but this is this is so, so nerve-wracking right now. All right, let's try it on a zombie. It's not even a one. It doesn't even one kill. I need, like... Okay, so it matches them up in, like, two, which is honestly kind of crazy. Wow. This thing definitely needs to pack a punch. I, I need all the drops I can get. I'm glad we can finally get drops, because it's been over, like, a silly amount of time without drops. Oh, I need a nuke or something. Okay, so it's like if you sprint into a zombie, it seems to... Okay, no, no. I thought it was. Oh, dudes. I just need like a nuke or something. Oh. Okay, insta-kill. That's not bad. But I don't have a bullet gun. It's so risky, so risky. So risky, so risky. So risky. Okay, we got it. Path of Sorrows. It's still the same. Hacker punched. Oh my god, are we going to go down? No! <laughs> no, dude. I'm calling that a dub, though. Round 100, like we actually did it. I'm definitely going to replay this map again, where we're going to do the main quest. We'll get the jet gun and all of that stuff and see what's really within this map we just barely scratched the surface but amazing amazing map please leave a like because that took freaking forever hopefully i'll see you for some more custom zombies really really soon take care guys